The dreaded arrival in the annals of maritime legend. There existed a ship unlike any other the demon ship. It was said to be invulnerable, an entity that materialized from the mists of nowhere and vanished into the obscurity of nowhere. Its presence was a harbinger of fear, for even the devil himself quaked at its sight. The crew of the demon ship were as enigmatic as their vessel, clad in shadowy attire, their faces obscured. They showed neither mercy nor remorse. They were the harbingers of doom, striking terror into the hearts of all who crossed their path. The unholy pursuit from the depths of the abyss, the demon ship emerged, its sleek black hull slicing through the waves with an eerie grace. Sailors of other vessels, upon glimpsing its infernal silhouette, would abandon their posts and flee in abject terror. Even the bravest souls dared not speak its name, for they believed it was cursed. The crew of the demon ship were relentless in their pursuit. No ship was safe, no crew secure, for the demon ship sought souls with an insatiable hunger. With each appearance, it left behind a trail of devastation and despair, an indelible mark on the maritime world. The devils dread even the devil himself, the lord of the underworld, looked upon the demon ship with trepidation. Its very existence challenged the dominion of darkness, and its crew answered to no master but their insatiable hunger for souls. They struck fear into the hearts of even the most malevolent denizens of the netherworld. The legend of the demon ship spread far and wide, whispered in hushed tones among sailors and spoken of in fearful reverence among those who dabbled in the arcane. None dared cross its path, for to do so was to invite certain doom. The trap is set one fateful day. As the demon ship materialized from the ethereal mist, it sailed into a trap cunningly laid by ten formidable opponents. These were no ordinary ships, but vessels commanded by captains of unparalleled skill and cunning. They believed they had devised the perfect plan to vanquish the dreaded demon ship once and for all. As the adversaries closed in, their cannons at the ready, the demon ship's crew remained nearly calm. They had faced countless foes before, and this battle was no different. With a sinister glint in their eyes, they prepared to unleash their unholy fury. The battle of shadows the clash of cannon fire echoed across the open sea as the demon ship and its adversaries engaged in a battle of shadows. The air was thick with smoke and the acrid scent of gunpowder. The opponents fought with a fervor born of desperation, determined to rid the world of this malevolent force. Yet, as the battle raged on, it became evident that the demon ship was no ordinary vessel. Cannonballs seemed to deflect off its hull leaving it unscathed and untouched. The crew, their movements a macabre dance of precision, retaliated with a deadly accuracy that sent enemy ships reeling. The unyielding fury as the battle wore on, the demon ship's adversaries grew increasingly desperate. They could not fathom how this vessel, said to be invulnerable, could withstand their onslaught. But the crew of the demon ship fought with an unyielding fury, their resolve unbroken. One by one, the opponents fell, their ships reduced to smoldering wrecks. The demon ship's crew, seemingly untouched by the chaos around them, press forward. The remaining enemies, their spirits broken, face an adversary they could not defeat. Into the veil of fog with a final, devastating volley of cannon fire, the demon ship emerged victorious. Its adversaries lay defeated, their ships reduced to mere remnants of their former selves. The crew of the demon ship stood triumphant, their malevolent laughter echoing across the sea. As if summoned by some unholy force, a dense fog began to roll in. The demon ship, wreathed in mist, slipped away into the veil of obscurity from whence it had come. The legend of its invulnerability and insatiable hunger for souls lived on, a chilling reminder of the darkness that lurked in the depths of the ocean. The survivors among the defeated captains and crews, there were a few survivors who had managed to escape the devastating battle. They clung to pieces of wreckage and lifeboats, their bodies battered and their spirits broken. The encounter with the demon ship had left them with a deep sense of dread and an unshakable belief in the supernatural. Captain Oliver Drake, one of the survivors and a seasoned mariner, vowed to uncover the truth behind the demon ship's invincibility. He had lost friends and comrades in the battle and couldn't rest until he understood the nature of the malevolent vessel. Gathering the remnants of his crew and the other survivors, Captain Drake embarked on a quest to seek answers and, if possible, to devise a plan to confront the dreaded demon ship once more. The enigmatic navigators Captain Drake and his makeshift crew scoured coastal towns and harbors for information about the demon ship. They came across a mysterious figure and enigmatic navigator known only as Seraphine. Seraphine was rumored to possess knowledge of the occult and the supernatural, 
and her reputation for guiding sailors through treacherous waters was unparalleled. Seraphine agreed to meet with Captain Drake, her eyes revealing a deep and haunting wisdom. She listened intently as he recounted the harrowing encounter with the demon ship and his determination to uncover its secrets. You seek answers to the mysteries of the sea, Seraphine said, a voice of melodic whisper. But be warned, Captain Drake, for the path you tread is fraught with peril. The demon ship is a manifestation of darkness itself, and to confront it is to challenge the very forces that govern the ocean. Undeterred, Captain Drake implored Seraphine to assist them in deciphering the secrets of the malevolent vessel. With a reluctant nod, she agreed to share her knowledge of the occult and the arcane, warning them that the journey would lead them into the heart of the unknown. The occult knowledge under Seraphine's guidance, Captain Drake and his crew delved deep into the world of the occult and the supernatural. They studied ancient texts, consulted with mystics, and sought the wisdom of seafaring legends who had encountered the demon ship. What they discovered was a chilling history of the demon ship, a vessel said to have been forged in the fires of hell itself. It was said to be cursed, and its crew were rumored to be bound to the ship for all eternity, their souls forfeit to the abyss. Seraphine explained that the demon ship's invincibility was not merely a matter of physical fortitude, but a result of the dark pact that had given birth to the vessel. Its connection to the forces of the underworld made it impervious to mortal weapons. The quest for redemption armed with their newfound knowledge. Captain Drake and his crew formulated a daring plan to seek out the very forces that had birthed the demon ship and attempt to break the curse that bound it to the depths of darkness. Seraphine warned them of the dangers that lay ahead, for to confront the infernal powers that controlled the vessel was to risk damnation of their own souls. But Captain Drake and his crew were undeterred. They believed that redemption was possible, even for the cursed souls aboard the demon ship. With Seraphine as their guide, they set sail into uncharted waters, determined to confront the malevolent forces that lurked in the shadows of the ocean. The abyssal descent as they ventured deeper into the abyss. The waters grew darker, and the pressure became more oppressive. The crew could feel the weight of the ocean pressing in on all sides, a physical reminder of the perils that awaited them. Seraphine led them to a place known as the Abyssal Chasm, a location rumored to be a gateway to the underworld itself. Here, they believed they would find the source of the demon ship's curse and, with any luck, a way to break it. With a sense of foreboding, they descended into the Inkai Depths, their torches illuminating the eerie landscape of jagged rock formations and bizarre creatures that called the Abyss home. The trial of the Abyss as they delved deeper into the Abyssal Chasm, the crew encountered a series of trials, each more perilous than the last. They faced swirling currents, malevolent sea creatures, and the oppressive darkness that threatened to consume them. Seraphine's knowledge of the occult proved invaluable as she guided them through these trials, using ancient rituals and incantations to ward off the supernatural threats that lurked in the Abyss. Captain Drake and his crew were tested to their limits, both physically and mentally, but they pressed on, driven by their determination to confront the malevolent forces that had given birth to the demon ship. The pact of redemption at the very depths of the Abyssal Chasm, they came upon a cavern of unfathomable darkness. Within its depths, they encountered a presence so malevolent that it sent shivers down their spines. It was here that they believed they would find the source of the demon ship's curse. Seraphine, with a solemn expression, began to recite an ancient incantation, calling upon the forces of the underworld. In the oppressive darkness, a figure materialized a being of shadow and torment. It was the spirit of the ship's original captain, a soul condemned to eternal suffering for his dark deeds. He revealed the pact that had bound the demon ship to the forces of darkness, a pact forged in blood and sealed with the promise of eternal servitude. Captain Drake and his crew implored the tormented spirit to break the curse, to release the souls aboard the demon ship from their infernal bondage. With a sorrowful nod, the spirit agreed, knowing that redemption could only be found through sacrifice. The final confrontation armed with the knowledge of the curse's origins, Captain Drake and his crew returned to the surface, determined to confront the demon ship once more. They knew that breaking the curse would require direct confrontation with the malevolent vessel and its crew. As the demon ship materialized on the horizon, his eerie silhouette striking fear into the hearts of all who beheld it, Captain Drake and his crew sailed forth with a newfound sense of purpose. They carried with them the Pact of Redemption, a ritual that could sever the vessel's ties to the underworld. The battle that ensued was fierce and relentless with cannon fire and curses exchanged between the two vessels. But Captain Drake and his crew fought with a determination born of their quest for redemption, and the tide of the battle began to turn in their favor. The breaking of the curse as the battle raged on, 
Captain Drake and Seraphine performed the ritual of redemption, calling upon the forces of the underworld to release the souls aboard the demon ship. The very waters of the ocean seemed to tremble as the ritual took hold, and the malevolent vessel's crew found themselves wracked with torment. Screams of anguish echoed across the sea as the curse that had bound them was shattered. The demon ship, once an entity of darkness and terror, began to disintegrate its spectral form unraveling before their eyes. With a final burst of light and a deafening roar, the demon ship was no more. The redemption in the aftermath of the battle, the sea was calm once more, and the specter of the demon ship had vanished. Captain Drake and his crew stood upon the deck of their ship, their faces illuminated by the pale moonlight, as they realized that they had succeeded in breaking the curse that had plagued the maritime world for so long. Seraphine, her eyes filled with a melancholy wisdom, spoke softly. The souls aboard the demon ship have been released from their eternal torment. They are now free to find rest in the afterlife, their redemption at last achieved. Captain Drake, his heart heavy with the weight of the ordeal, nodded in gratitude to Seraphine. We could not have done this without your guidance, Seraphine. You have my deepest thanks. With the malevolent vessel's curse lifted, the maritime world rejoiced and the legend of the demon ship was forever laid to rest. But Captain Drake and his crew knew that their journey was far from over, for they had tasted the bitter depths of the supernatural, and they were forever changed by it. The uncharted horizons with the curse of the demon ship lifted. Captain Drake and his crew embarked on a new chapter of their maritime adventures. They sailed to uncharted horizons, seeking to explore the mysteries of the ocean and protect it from the supernatural threats that lurked in its depths. Seraphine, had become an invaluable member of their crew, continued to share a knowledge of the occult and the arcane. Together, they uncovered ancient relics, encountered elusive sea creatures, and ventured into realms of the supernatural that few had dared to explore. Their exploits became the stuff of legend, and they were hailed as heroes of the maritime world. But Captain Drake and his crew remained humble, knowing that the ocean held countless secrets waiting to be discovered. The return of the supernatural as Captain Drake and his crew continued their maritime adventures. They encountered new and unsettling manifestations of the supernatural. They faced vengeful spirits, sea monsters of ancient lore, and spectral apparitions that defied explanation. But the underwater realm remained safeguarded, the hidden realm guided by the guardians of the abyss. Captain Drake and his crew embarked on a journey deeper into the uncharted underwater realm. The submersible vessel glided through the crystalline waters, its advanced sensors revealing a hidden world of unparalleled beauty. They entered a realm known as the Ethereal Garden, a place where iridescent coral formations stretched as far as the eye could see, and exotic sea life flourished in abundance. The creatures that inhabited this realm were unlike anything found on the surface their colors and shapes defying the imagination. Seraphine explained that the ethereal garden was a place of great importance, a sanctuary where the supernatural and the natural converge. It was a realm where the boundaries between worlds were thin, and the energies of the deep flowed freely. The power of the abyss as they ventured deeper into the ethereal garden, Captain Drake and his crew discovered that the very waters of the abyss held a unique and potent power. They witnessed manifestations of the supernatural visions of lost ships, spectral apparitions, and echoes of long-forgotten tragedies. Seraphine explained that the power of the abyss could be harnessed through the ancient rituals and incantations taught by the Guardians. This power had the potential to bring about great change, both for the natural world and the supernatural realm. Captain Drake and his crew recognized the responsibility that came with this newfound knowledge. They pledged to use the power of the abyss for the greater good, to protect the delicate balance of the ocean and to confront supernatural threats that posed a danger to both worlds. The return to the surface after their exploration of the ethereal garden, and the lessons imparted by the guardians of the abyss, Captain Drake and his crew made their way back to the surface. They carried with them the sacred knowledge of the underwater realm, as well as the responsibility to safeguard the secrets of the deep. Upon their return, they shared their discoveries with the world, emphasizing the importance of preserving the natural world and respecting the supernatural forces that governed it. Their mission had evolved from confronting the malevolent forces of the demon ship to becoming protectors of the delicate balance between the natural and supernatural realms. The supernatural threat as Captain Drake and his crew continued their maritime adventures. They encountered a new and ominous supernatural threat, a powerful sorcerer who sought to harness the forces of the abyss for his own malevolent purposes. This sorcerer, known as Malachi Darkbane, possessed knowledge of the ancient rituals and incantations that could tap into the power of the deep. Darkbane's nefarious plans involved summoning supernatural entities of great malevolence and unleashing them upon the world.
He believed that by doing so, he could gain ultimate power and dominion over both the natural and supernatural realms. Captain Drake and his crew knew that they had to stop Dark Bane and prevent him from wreaking havoc upon the world. They called upon Seraphine and the knowledge they had gained from the Guardians of the Abyss to confront this new and formidable adversary. The Battle of Wills The confrontation with Malachi Darkbane proved to be a battle of wills and supernatural forces. Darkbane, wielding the knowledge of the ancient rituals, summoned supernatural entities of darkness and chaos to aid him in his quest for power. Captain Drake and his crew, armed with their understanding of the power of the Abyss, stood firm against the malevolent forces unleashed by Dark Bane. They chanted incantations and performed rituals that countered the sorcerer's dark magic, creating a clash of supernatural energies that reverberated across the ocean. The battle was fierce and relentless, with the very elements of the natural and supernatural worlds at stake. The ocean itself seemed to churn and roil in response to the conflict, as if it recognized the importance of the struggle. The triumph of balance in the midst of the supernatural battle, Seraphine invoked the power of the Abyss, calling upon the Guardians for aid. The Guardians, ancient beings of the deep, answered her call, and with their assistance, Captain Drake and his crew were able to overpower Dark Bane's malevolent forces. Dark Bane, his power weakened and his plans thwarted, was defeated. The supernatural entities he had summoned were banished back to the depths from whence they came, and he was left powerless and defeated. Captain Drake and his crew, along with Seraphine, had once again protected the delicate balance between the natural and supernatural realms. They had demonstrated that the power of the Abyss could be used for good, to safeguard the ocean and the world from malevolent threats. The legacy of Guardians with the defeat of Malachi Dark Bane, Captain Drake and his crew continued their maritime adventures, knowing that their mission to protect the ocean and the delicate balance of the natural and supernatural worlds was ongoing. They shared their knowledge and experiences with others, inspiring a new generation of mariners and explorers to respect and preserve the natural world. The legacy of the Guardians of the Abyss lived on through their efforts, and the secrets of the underwater realm remained safeguarded. Seraphine, with a deep understanding of the supernatural, became a revered figure among those who sought to explore the mysteries of the ocean. She continued to guide and educate, ensuring that the ancient knowledge passed down through generations was used responsibly and for the greater good. The uncharted horizons as Captain Drake and his crew set sail for uncharted horizons once more they knew that the ocean held countless secrets waiting to be discovered. The boundary between the natural and supernatural worlds remained fluid, and they were committed to exploring the mysteries that lay beneath the waves. Their maritime adventures continued to captivate the world, and their legacy became a testament to the enduring spirit of exploration and the importance of protecting the delicate balance of the ocean. The whispering depths in their ongoing maritime adventures, Captain Drake and his crew received word of a new mystery strange whispers from the depths of the ocean. These eerie voices, carried on the currents, spoke of ancient civilizations that had been lost to the sea, and of treasures hidden in the abyss. Driven by their insatiable curiosity, Captain Drake and his crew set course for the coordinates of these mysterious whispers. Seraphine, with her uncanny connection to the supernatural, listened intently to the voices, trying to decipher their cryptic messages. As they approached the designated location, the crew lowered specialized equipment into the water, including advanced sonar and deep sea submersibles. They were determined to uncover the secrets concealed in the depth. The lost city beneath the waves, Captain Drake and his crew made a remarkable discovery hidden city preserved in the abyss for millennia. The city's architecture was unlike anything seen before, a testament to the ingenuity of the lost civilization. The crew marveled at the intricate carvings and artwork that adorned the structures, symbols that seemed to hold ancient knowledge and wisdom. Seraphine, with her understanding of the supernatural, recognized that the city was a place of great significance, a repository of forgotten secrets. As they explored further, they encountered inscriptions that spoke of a powerful artifact and object said to harness the very essence of the ocean and the supernatural forces that governed it. The artifact was believed to have been hidden within the city's sacred temple. The Guardian's warning before they could proceed to the temple, Captain Drake and his crew were visited by the Guardians of the Abyss. These ancient beings, who had aided them in their previous encounters, appeared to warn of the dangers that lay ahead. The Guardians explained that the artifact within the temple held immense power, that its use could disrupt the delicate balance of the ocean and the supernatural realm. They urged caution and respect for the forces that govern the abyss. Captain Drake, deeply respectful of the Guardians and their wisdom, agreed to proceed with care. He understood that the artifact, if mishandled, 
could have dire consequences for both worlds. The Temple of the Abyss as they entered the sacred Temple of the Lost City. Captain Drake and his crew were met with a breathtaking sight. The temple's inner chamber was illuminated by a soft, ethereal glow, and at its center rested the artifact a shimmering, crystalline orb that pulsed with the power of the ocean. Seraphine, with a deep connection to the supernatural, sensed the energy emanating from the artifact. It resonated with the very essence of the abyss, a source of power that could reshape the world. But the artifact was not unguarded. As they approached, they were confronted by spectral guardians ancient protectors of the temple who had remained vigilant for millennia. These ethereal beings, bound to the artifact, sought to prevent its misuse. The trial of guardians the crew faced a formidable challenge as they sought to approach the artifact. The spectral guardians, wielding supernatural abilities, tested their resolve and intentions. It was a trial of their character, a test of their commitment to safeguarding the delicate balance of the ocean and the supernatural realm. Captain Drake and his crew, with Seraphine at their side, faced the Guardians with humility and respect. They acknowledged the significance of the artifact and pledged to use its power for the greater good, to protect the natural world and preserve the ancient mysteries of the Abyss. With a solemn nod, the Spectral Guardians allowed them to approach the artifact, recognizing their sincerity and understanding of the forces at play. The harnessing of power with the artifact in their possession, Captain Drake and his crew returned to the surface, mindful of the immense responsibility that came with the power they now held. They knew that the artifact could be a force for both creation and destruction, and they were determined to use it wisely. Seraphine, with her deep connection to the supernatural, helped them understand the rituals and incantations required to harness the artifact's power. They learned to channel the energies of the abyss in a way that respected the delicate balance of the ocean and the supernatural realm. Their newfound abilities allowed them to further explore the mysteries of the ocean, to protect it from supernatural threats, and to uncover hidden treasures that had long been lost to the sea. They used the artifact's power to bring about positive change in the world, ensuring that the ocean and its wonders remain preserved for future generations. The Guardian's blessing and recognition of their commitment to protecting the ocean and respecting the supernatural forces that govern it. The Guardians of the Abyss bestowed their blessing upon Captain Drake and his crew. They were now considered protectors of the delicate balance between the natural and supernatural realms. With the Guardian's blessing, Captain Drake and his crew continued their maritime adventures, their reputation as explorers and protectors of the ocean growing with each new discovery. They remained humble in the face of the mysteries of the deep, knowing that there was always more to learn and explore. The uncharted horizons as they set sail for uncharted horizons once more, Captain Drake and his crew were filled with a sense of purpose and reverence for the ocean and the supernatural forces that govern it. They knew that their journey was far from over and that the mysteries of the abyss continued to beckon. Their maritime adventures captured the imagination of the world, inspiring others to respect and protect the natural world and the delicate balance of the ocean. The legacy of Captain Drake and his crew along with Seraphine and the Guardians of the Abyss serve as a testament to the enduring spirit of exploration and the importance of preserving the wonders of the deep. And so, their story continued as they ventured into the uncharted horizons of the ocean, where the natural and supernatural worlds converged, and where mysteries beyond imagination awaited discovery. The end.
Fire! 